Yes, boys and girls, gimps and pimps. Today, I'm going to be putting um, my Umbrella Armoury barrel into this M4 here. This has already got one in, so this is what you've been watching on the videos. This has a maple leaf in it at the moment, but I haven't used it because I'm addicted to fucking the R-Hop. Anyway, so we'll just put this in, and what we'll do, we'll take it at the land and have a little go with it, see how it performs straight straight out the box. You're supposed to wear these in up to 5,000 rounds, but um, that worked fine just after I'd say about a thousand and it was perfect. But um, yeah, so we'll give it a go. And that's got the Kyfera and that's got the F2. So what we'll do, we'll put the F2 into this one today. Look. Oh, all right. Let's clean all the shit out just in case there is any. If there's any grease, man. Oh, yeah. Right. This backing isn't new. It's been used quite a lot. There's still the indent on the top from where it's been fucking overused. Right. Line that up. Get it in there. Happy days. I don't use any grease. I don't need to. The hop hat with this one is a ZCI. In that one, it's a pro win. I'll have you now. Happy days. Just make sure the um, bucking lips aren't poking out, which they are. So I'm going to have to trim that. Because I know that will misfeed 100%. That will fold on the BB. So yeah, I know they're too long because I put a BB in there. It hasn't even gone into the barrel and it doesn't come out. So yeah, it needs trimming. So we'll get on that. So we've got the nail scissors ready for this. When I trim these, obviously you only need to trim the bottom bit where the BB would catch, it will still have a perfect air seal because obviously this is too far that way. So we, uh, it should be better. And this is what I've done with that one as well. The air seal's banging on that. So we need to just trim it a little bit. I fucking hate doing this. I'm always worried I'm gonna go too much. And if you do go too far, you're fucked. Yeah, looks fine. Put, put the rubber rings on to keep it pushed against my gearbox. We don't want any movement. Might be too much. No, that is spot on. That is banging. So we'll put this back together, give it a little chrono in here, take it up the land, have a blast. With ENC Mark 16s, I've noticed with, with both of them, the gearboxes 
are off. Like they're always pushed one way. So I've had to put a screw into the gearbox there to push it that way, look. All right, and that's with both of them. And that is perfectly aligned and so is that one. Right, what is next? Chrono time, innit? Uh, we're gonna be using 0 0.30 gram BBs. Just to make sure that is nice, consistent. What we will do as well is make sure that looking good, looking good. Right then, let's do this. I'm not bothered about what the FPS is. We're just going for uh, consistency, right? So on T54, T54, T52, T54, T59, T52, T55, T58, T57, T57, T56, T57, T57, T55.9, T55, T56. T57, it's pretty good actually to be fair that is, that's at 0 0.9 joules on 30 gram BBs. When I test them at the land I'll be using 28s because I ain't got enough 30s to last for game day let. Let's get ready. <sighs> yes boys and girls, so we're at the land and we'll be testing out the Umbrella Armoury R hot barrel in this bad boy. Let's have a pot set. There. The accuracy is fucking banging. That's nice, that is. That's nice. Yeah, it's good. Just got to wear it in. That's straight out, straight out the um, the bag, man. I haven't adjusted my sights either, I can't be bothered. So I'm aiming to the right, I'm aiming at the blue bin, top middle of the blue bin. But yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. So straight out of the box, the umbrella R hop is banging. I recommend getting one if you can. Um, don't get a ZCI, don't get a ZCI chamber, get a pro in, it works. And uh... Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> 